Hello everyone, this reading is for Scorpios. I want to try to keep this video short and just see what I can pull. Before I even drop this last fourth card, in the past, recently, maybe last week or earlier in the beginning of the month, some of you realized you were attached to someone who wasn't for the better, attached by the chain, they have control over you, or some of you are just maybe wanting someone that does not do anything for you. This could also be the other person, the cross watcher. Someone knows that they're attached to you in a um, sensual way, money-wise, just for their ego. And whether or not you were talking to this person, whether or not you were holding yourself back or worried about stability, this person knows that they're doing this towards you. And you could be still giving to this person. We're still feeding you. Yeah. King of Wands. A lot of lust. This person has a lot of ego, whoever this is, that some of you could be dealing with. But they're a little bit too comfortable right now. Some of you might know that, some of you might not know it. You could just, or this card, you know, represents Capricorn. You could have someone... Um, Either taking your money in a type of way, being sneaky, just doing things that maybe you don't want to talk about or you don't want to believe. Let's see, why is this four of pentacles here? Could have a family with this person or you could have everything you wanted with this person. And that's why maybe some of you don't want to get out of it. could be a lot of money here within the both of you two put together both of you two can come together and compromise a lot pay bills do what you have to do it's a good team effort but someone is in control this card wants to come out five of swords um, definitely some conflict going on, some tension. I feel like some of you don't want to talk about this. Or this person is giving you little maybe attitudes or tension. Someone feels like it's a win-lose situation. Meaning that... Um, you might have done something to them and now they want to get back at you, which is where this card is coming from. They're controlling you. Um, you could have, someone could have um, had a third party situation. And now it's like, well, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that towards you. Or this is how this person is feeling about you. Someone feels as if maybe since this person has stuck around through everything, I'm just going to do what I want. It's a win-lose situation. Like, they're always going to be here. Definitely controlling energy, which is not cool. Will of fortune, things are going to come out pretty soon. Cycles are going to change. Some of you might, are going to be getting tired of this. The high priestess some of you already some of you definitely know about this situation definitely know that this is not right that that something's going on here maybe someone switched up
if this is not your situation, I just feel as if someone is a little bit too comfortable in the relationship or too comfortable coming in and out. Meaning they could do whatever they want, send you an email, send you a text message. One day and the next day or two weeks, they come up with some type of excuse and you all accept it. Some of you accept it and they feel like they can do it again. But it's just going to be changed up. And some of you notice, but you really might just want to be with the person. Like I said, you could have a family with them. Mm, just leaving some of you devastated. And my advice, you know, you shouldn't be in anything like this. Some trauma here. Trauma, definitely. And trauma-wise, I mean um, disrespecting someone playing with their feelings, all of that is, you know, psych psychological stuff. Feeding someone's ego, making you more depressed, alone, feeling trauma, feeling the worst of the worst, the ten of swords, feeling as if everything has happened with this person bad. Page of swords, curious about you. Or you're curious. See, why is this five of swords here? So it could be good times and bad times. One bad day and then the next day is a good day. Or things are just in line, should I say. Someone has a fake mask on. Or some of you are just... Dealing with something that you're not happy about it. That's where this card is coming from. Some of you might just want the Ten of Cups. Happiness, bliss, a family. Everything that you've always wanted. I see Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I also see every sign. I saw the page of cups. Some of you could be wanting something new. Page of wands, discovering something. Some of you are going to find out something. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to find out something and this person is going to be judged upon it. Whatever some of you are going to be finding out, they're either going to have a reason for doing it or you're going to look at them completely different. But something is definitely going to switch up because this person is looking for something. This could be someone playing like they're okay, they're, they're happy and good. But meanwhile, they're, they're looking for something. And when it comes out, it's just going to come out. Let's see, why is this Ten of Wands here? Six of Cups. Mm. Yeah. I don't know why the good outweighs the bad. It just keeps coming up, but that's not okay either. Some of you could be just lost, thinking about the good times you all had together. Thinking about maybe what it was before. See, she has the high priestess energy. Hmm. The sun over the hurdle. So when something comes out, it might bring you two together closer. Some of you might stay. Some of you might um, feel as if this person is your soulmate. And it might bring you too closer because things are uh, out in the open. Well, I'm just not too sure about this. Because I just feel like, once again, this person is controlling in a certain aspect. If something does come out for some of you, I definitely feel like the person is going to feel as if, okay, well, it's out. 
they're dealing with me so it's still controlling in a type of way the high priestess knight of wands what's this two of pentacles trying to manage time trying to adapt to a situation this is someone sneaking behind someone's back someone might be being a little sneaky I don't feel like that though but definitely this is like trying to make you comfortable trying to um, make you forget about what's really going on knight of wands energy passion and lust and some of you either know about the situation or know about how they treat you This is the person who wants to discover that what's really going on. Let me go with that card. Three of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. Three of Swords. Definitely saw a third party coming up pretty soon. King of Wands, Entrepreneur. It's a lot of wands in here. Queen of Pentacles, also a little bit of controlling. Definitely a little bit of controlling. Three of Cups. Friendship, community. People can know you together. People know what type of situation it is. You guys bond really good. Seven of Pentacles. You guys are very comfortable with each other. You've done a lot of different things together. Thinking about long term. Three of Swords is here. And this is what some of you are, might be finding out. Now, I don't wish this on anyone, but when we have someone that wants to discover it, then a high priestess comes up. It's like someone's definitely looking into it. Third party situation. And I feel like this is more of someone being in her spot or someone enjoying what she's supposed to be enjoying. Queen of Cups. Motherly, down to earth, Scorpio energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Some of you could also, somebody feels like maybe you're like a mom figure to them in a type of way. That's why they're not attracted to you, but it's just something about for some of you here. They like the way that you handle stuff. Let's see, why is this Three of Cups here? Eight of Wands. Traveling changes some stuff up. Two of Wands. Mm -hmm. So when this person does try to come back, some of you are not going to want it. Because you're devastated. You're going to be focusing on yourself. Or some of you could have been put in a third party situation. And now you're focusing on yourself. You don't want it anymore from this person. Four of Cups is more of completion. You know somebody you feel completed. You're being a little maybe stubborn. But you have the right to be. And you're just saying no to certain things. Which causes someone to manage time. Things definitely switch up. Someone's going to have to be on your time in order to come and see you. I'm going to pull an oracle card. This card flipped over. Divine healing. Some of you need to heal from the situation or heal from your last heartbreak. Honor your sensitivity. Retreat and recharge and heal. Your light can support others. It's okay to be upset. It's okay to be mad. Some of you have to honor yourself. Don't feel like you're being too sensitive or you're going too overboard. Facing fear. Major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. So maybe this is your chance to get out of this toxic situation with somebody you find out what they've done. Or if they've done anything.
divine order. Do what you feel is right. An important lesson is unfolding. Okay. So honor your sensitivity. Do what you feel is right. And major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. To leave the situation alone if you want to for some of you. So if you would like a personal reading with me, my link is in the description box below. And thank you all for watching.